Okay, guys, so let me fix this seatbelt. So I'm in the car and I'm about to take my road test for the third time. And this time it feels so much different. Like I'm way more comfortable on the road. I drove on the freeway about like three times. I'm just not afraid anymore. So I feel like this is it. Um, I'm just waiting right now under this little thing to take the test. And I really hate how the DDS, like you have an appointment at two, but they don't see you at two. It's like, what the heck? So I don't know, but the appointment means nothing basically. But yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting. One of my dad's friends was nice enough to let me use their car for my test. So it's been like 15 minutes. <laughs> We're still waiting. Does it make any sense? You on Snapchat? Mm -mm, I have a YouTube channel. Girl, no, you don't. Mm -hmm. You got a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. How many followers? You got a lot of followers. Mm -mm, it's like 180. That's still a lot, yeah. too. I have a YouTube channel and I just feel like capturing the journey of me getting my license and stuff right <sighs> and we still waiting mm -hmm. and the appointment was at two you're here 20 minutes early it's 243 and it's two cars yeah we up here she's in line to take so, oh, so i got my license i'm so excited y'all i'm just like i don't even know what to think hey guys <laughs> so I'm finally back at home after like so many hours. It's like almost eight o'clock now and I'm finally back home. And I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all the story about me getting my license. So I get to the DMV, hopefully my phone don't cut off because the storage, but I get to the DMV. One, I was waiting forever, like almost an hour. Cause my appointment was at two. I probably started taking my test like 3.15. So then I'm waiting and um, two people come out and one is a black guy. The other person is a white lady and I was like, okay. And the white lady looked mean. So I was like, bro, I hope I don't get her because I need to pass this test. So um, the guy was like, the black guy was standing in front of the white lady. And um, so I'm thinking he's going to the next car in front of me, but he ends up coming to my car. And I remember him from when I first came to the DMV because he was really nice and he was helpful. So then um, he gets in the car, he's like checking the brakes and he gets in the car, he starts talking to me and you literally don't supposed to talk. But he was talking to me and just um, making it real comfortable. He don't supposed to do that, but he doing it anyway. So then I get in the car and I'm doing everything right. And then I get to the parallel parking. First step, I didn't signal into the parking spot. So he was like, make sure you put your signal on. Like he was giving me tips, like put the signal on. Like he really wanted me to pass. So then um, I messed up the first time trying to get into the spot. So he was like, you could do it over. And so he was like, okay, listen to me. Basically like, I got you. Like I got you on this part. Like just listen. He's not supposed to do that. But God, like, this man was literally, like, sent from an angel because they knew I needed to pass that, to pass this test. So I did good on everything else but the parallel parking. And because of that, he only took five points off. So I ended up getting a 95 on my road test, which I'm so happy about. And I'm just happy, honestly, because he did not have to do that. Honestly, he could have, he shouldn't have done that, but he did. And... I'm just really thankful. I don't even know if I should be saying this, but it's part of my testimony. So, yeah, the guy basically just hooked me up. Like, I wasn't, like, driving bad, and he just gave me an A when he knew why I was not supposed to be on the road. He literally just helped me out to a point where it's like, okay, she's hooking more than once. Let me just help her. So, yeah, I'm, like, so happy. I don't know if I showed y'all. I think I showed y'all my ID. I mean, my license. <laughs> um. Oh, my God, look. It's on my prayer wall. Look. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to flip it over. This is on my prayer wall. This. I could take this down. Well, I'm waiting on the car, but I could take this part down. Um, I could take this down because I'm getting my own place in July. 
and oh, I kind of could take this down too because I'm content right now, man. And I just believe, uh, I believe so much in my God and in this. I have my best friend, Lavi, and I'm so happy. So, yes, taking that down. And yeah, I'm not going to show everything because they ain't nobody business, but yeah i'm so excited um i have to wait like a week like two weeks to get my car because my uncle is out of town and he's gonna be helping me get my car and um i just have to wait till he gets back so we could like travel to go get the car so yeah guys i got my license oh my god if you've been rocking with me if you know me personally you know my struggle of getting my license Literally, I was made fun of. I got broken up with because I didn't have my license. Like, <sighs> y'all, that's a whole nother video. But I'm just happy and I'm so thankful for just this new journey in my life. And I can't wait. Um, If um I get my car soon, I might do like a car video. Like me going to purchase my car and then like a car tour and stuff. So... Yeah, thumbs up this video if you want to see something like that. But thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.